Glenn is unique in that it sits right here at the gates of Emory University. And we have this opportunity uh, to be in ministry to the university as well as to Druid Hills and the larger Atlanta community. It began at the same time the university began here on this campus. This church was uh, established about uh, 1920 over in the Theology School Chapel and then uh, through the gifts of uh, the Glenn family, uh, the church was built about 1931. Well, I was 12 years old when I first came to Glenn. I was married here. All five of our children were baptized here. That youth building was built in the early 60s. I don't think it was necessarily thought to be one that was gonna last more than 50 years. It could certainly use some major work. When I think of Foundations for Generations, what it signals to me immediately is that even in my own Christian faith, where I am right now, I didn't get to by myself. Uh, I stand on the shoulders and the legacy of so many who've come before me. Unlike most other churches who have gone through fairly regular capital campaigns, Glenn's not had to do that. That's led to a lot of deferred maintenance. It's led to some of our facilities being below standard, and it makes it a, a tougher draw to bring people into the church, even from the community. We're really hoping to update our facilities here, particularly the Youth and Activities Building. We call it the YAB, of course, and it's where our youth people gather, it's where older adults gather, and a way to reach out to the community. We have uh, groups who come from other colleges, universities, from high schools who come to the Atlanta area wanting to do urban ministry. And the kind of improvements that we will be doing to the YAM will enable us to serve as a host to these groups that come who want to do uh, on the ground urban ministry in Atlanta. The, the second piece of that obviously is the church school building and we've got some immediate needs that have to be fixed. Uh, the middle part of the roof is leaking and needs to be replaced. Um, and while there's a long list of things we would love to do, we plan to start in the fellowship hall. We all need to give to the operating budget. That is imperative. But the capital campaign is different because it comes into our comfort level. It might mean that as families, we sacrifice in order to build for the future. It's been a long time um, that we've been at this church and have assumed that everything will take care of itself. I believe a lot of people at Glenn believe that Emory is responsible for all of our capital and major improvements and that we have this huge fund of resources available and that's just not true. I was born into this church, baptized here, um, participated in all the children's Sunday school and music programs and moved away to go to college. Glenn in particular was one of the reasons why home was kind of, call I felt like was calling me back. To have Claire want to return to be not only with us as her family, but to be in her church family is pretty powerful, I think. We have so much to be thankful for that our giving, really, I like to think of as a response, as a thank you. I'd love to see Glenn continue to grow its mission, its community service, and to be a welcoming, expanding community. We occupy these buildings, but it is uh, inherent upon us to keep them up so that we can continue to do the ministry that we can do here on this campus. I do believe we have that obligation and that responsibility and also that opportunity to uh, see that they are kept in the finest fashion so that we can do the best ministry we can do.